So the video I'm going to do today is over our STEM kit. Okay, first of all, I want to say that I've been homeschooling since 2009, and I did not, I've never heard of the term STEM kit until early 2013. And whenever I first heard about it, and, you know, read about it, I'm like, oh my goodness, I have to get one. You know, my kids are not going to be smart if I don't have one. So I started checking into it, and I realized, hey, I think we've been having a STEM kit all along. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to show you how you can put together your own STEM kit for free, basically. Um, when I did look up STEM kits, the cheapest ones I could find was like $50 just per, you know, per project. And they can be on up to hundreds of dollars. So, I will just show you just how we've always been doing it, and we don't even call it STEM. The girls just call it craft time. They just make things. So, um, I will just show you what we have here. Okay, this smaller bin here, it's just some craft supplies. I'm just going, I'm going to try to go through these quickly. This drawer's crayons and colored pencils. Here you have um, pipe cleaners, glitter, different co kinds of scissors, glues, paint drawer, marker drawer. This is um, stickers and stencils. This is different kinds of paper. There's construction paper, just different kinds of paper. And this is our stamp drawer. All right. Now, the actual STEM kit, I guess. <laughs> like I said, this is just what we've always done. We've always just kept things. And, well, for their crafts. So here... <coughs> so in this drawer, these are like those little Lipton tea bag holders. Then you have some styrofoam balls. Um, we have some foam here that was in packaging. We have some paper doilies and some paper plates. My kids will take this stuff and they will m make many different things out of it. This drawer, here you have a bag of just uh, ends of like yarn or strings or ribbon. And this is ribbon. Um, I buy it when I see it on sale, like at Walmart, you know, um, around fall time or after Christmas, you can usually get rolls for like 50 cents or a dollar, and I'll just pick them up then. Our other drawer, this is scrap paper. This is uh, tissue paper. Then you have some crepe paper some wallpaper. These are the ends of um, kites. Just, you know, different stuff in here, like that. And these next two drawers and the ribbon drawer are my girls' favorite drawers. So this drawer is just whatever will fit. You know, you just have um, boxes, empty boxes here little tea boxes. We have some tongue depressors, paper towel rolls. This is one of those carriers you can pop up from McDonald's. Some cardboard, some paper bags, some dowel rods, popsicle stick, toilet paper roll, just, you know. Okay. And this drawer would probably be more like a STEM drawer, I guess. It's just basically anything extra, like there's some Velcro, there's some empty glue sticks, some, some little, sorry, sorry my kids were on the other side of the door. Okay, some little clothespins 
the pie pan. Okay, then some vegetable cans. Just random little plastic containers. Some balloons. Some lids. This is one of those uh, vinyl covers off of some of those uh, folder notebooks, paper notebooks. Coffee filters. Some netting off of fruit, um, you know, fruit cases. And my oldest actually made this. This has already been used. Um, but once they get, you know, tired of the craft, I take it apart and I put everything back in here for them to use another craft. But my oldest had actually uh, blew up a balloon and used this as a hot air balloon for her Barbie dolls and she made a little basket. Okay, some flowers, a piece of leather, some thread spools, string, just another little plastic container, emery boards, broken crayons, more glue sticks, rubber bands, some cotton, bigger clothespins, uh, suction cups, um, spiral, this is the uh, spiral binding off of a notebook. These are from a broken kite. Plastic knives. Old CD, um, either the CD, you know, cover dividers or CDs that no longer work. Let's see what else is in here. Here's some extra tile we had from a project we done. Some bags. This came off of a bouquet of flowers. Some Mylar bag. Magnet. Let's see. There's other stuff in here. Just, you know, they can do... You should see the things they make. Well, if you have kids, I'm sure you know. Okay. So that is like... Those last two boxes are their favorites. Now I have two more boxes, but I keep them put up. <coughs> I keep them put up high. This orange box I keep put up right there on that end cubby. And this box stays up there on the cabinet. Okay. So this box, I guess you could say just little tools. Like this is a, um, oh, a switch. You know, on off battery case switch. You have some wire. have some magnets. Here's a little uh, three volt vibrating motor. Radio wire. And have some copper wire. Nail. Needle nose pliers. Some more radio wire. Electrical tape. Oh my goodness. I cannot think of this name right now. Wire cutters. Some batteries. Sandpaper. And just some other little, you know, nails and stuff. Okay. So that's what's in there. And this one... This one has a wood burning kit, has um, a small electric Dremel tool, you know, for sanding, polishing, buffing. We have some long plastic gloves that, um, you know, for like mixing things that go up to your elbows. More coffee filters. Here's an X-Acto kit. modeling clay, hot glue gun and hot glue sticks, more magnets, more velcro, uh, 
This is some charcoal. Well, charcoal pencils. This is um, this is actually charcoal. Let's see, have some contact paper here, and these things, and this, and this are just more sequences, beads, um, things like that. This is some that Sun Art paper. Little name tag. Okay, but I think that's it. So, you know, you could call like these two boxes kind of like the tools to make the things, you know, if you chose to go, you know, electrical or battery or wired up. And then these boxes are the ones that the kids can just put together with tape and glue and staples and stuff like that. So, that is our STEM <laughs> kit. So you don't have to spend a, a ton of money and buy those. You can just, you know, recycle what you have and give it to your kids and see what they create. Thank you for watching.